We want to do is make sure that the McDonald's of the world aren't having to bring in temporary foreign workers to do jobs that Canadians who are on EI have the skills to do. The only bad job, the finance minister said the other day, is not having a job. Well, today the government made it clear if you don't have a job and you're on EI, well, that's no good either. It unveiled new rules for claiming EI. They hit the chronically unemployed hardest and they redefine suitable work. But some see a big problem with the plan. These changes are not about forcing people to accept work outside their own area, nor about taking jobs for which they are not suited. But the changes will make it harder for frequent EI users to refuse work. Anyone who has had three or more EI claims in the past five years that total more than 60 weeks will be put on notice. They have six weeks to find a similar job at 80% of their previous hourly wage. After that, they'll be pushed to take any job they're qualified to do at 70% of their previous hourly wage. We know from our own experience, unemployed people look for work. They want to work. They don't want to be unemployed. The jobs aren't there. What we want to do is make sure that the McDonald's of the world aren't having to bring in temporary foreign workers to do jobs that Canadians who are on EI have the skills to do. Ada Mashari is an organic farmer who collects EI at the end of every season. McDonald's is just about exactly the opposite of what I, um, how I want to be contributing to, to my community. What we want to do is make sure that the McDonald's of the world aren't having to bring in temporary foreign workers to do jobs that Canadians who are on EI have the skills to do.